now we are on winner's finals of doubles. We have MKLA and Raito versus Nippon Jin. Nippon Jin, who are Gak and Leia. Ness and Joker versus, I wonder if Raito and MKLA is going to go uh, uh, play with their usuals, uh, Lucina and either a combination of any other sword players, but I wonder if they're going to uh, force MKLA to switch to Joker as well because... Yeah, because Joker, as, as long as Cloud, with Cloud, Joker's another beast, a different beast totally in doubles. Mm -hmm. Because he, he can just have his teammate charge up his uh, persona. Yeah, definitely. Our send charge is very quick, and MKLA is the type of player that he, I'm pretty sure he has. He's going to start getting more and more good synergy and chemistry with Raito. And Raito, of course, will notice whenever MKLA wants to get that R send charge, he will give it to him. But in doubles, uh, we haven't seen a lick of MKLA's Joker. We have seen more of his sword secondaries yep. from Krom. Roy Link. I wonder who he's gonna go for for the this next match. We haven't seen his Ike yet. He hasn't picked it up like at all mm -hmm. since the first early days of Ultimate. But it is another strong swordy heavy which he could go for. I wonder what he was doing is literally maybe despite that one occasion is whenever he's trying to whenever he, they drop gains, MK Lil switches characters right. and then <laughs> just starts messing around with that character, kind of going to kind of like a uh, Iron Man of, of a sorts. <laughs> in bracket. It's that a bit risky coming in from him too because he switched to Roy in game four but lost it. Mm -hmm. But he's still stuck with the Roy, so confidence going in from MK Leo, but we'll see have we'll have to see how he goes through the end of the bracket. Yes. Winners finals this is. Yep, Ness, Joker, but I wonder if Lance gonna switch characters. Nah, he's gonna stick with Joker? No, still I think. Joker. Okay, Joker. Stick with Joker and we see Lucina and Link. Okay, so Leo going back to Link. Uh, we did see Leo playing Link throughout the initial part of doubles and this is no exception. So we have Leia versus Leo. <laughs> very going to be very confusing for us. But uh Lee Pun Jin coming out from a strong dominating set against uh, Fox and Monkey to come up to this. Yes. Meanwhile, MKLeo and Raito had a bit more of a struggle against the Ice Climbers. Well, uh, right now, both teams that have been knocked out by these two are facing off in winner losers finals, Ooh. but... Wow, an early kill against Link. Wow, that could work. Yeah, he's definitely a formidable nest player. And right now, Leia's about to get Arsene, and it's not at high percent either, so this is definitely beneficial for Red Team. Nippon Jin trying to see if they can take an advantage against. Ooh, wow. Going for the laggy option is always a huge risk mm -hmm. in doubles, because right as the up beat ended, and while MK Leia couldn't do anything, mm -hmm. Leia just walks up with a strong F smash. Yeah. And now we're in, a, we're in a roughly even situation, although, of course, Wow, Leo losing two stocks relatively quickly, and right now Raito pulling the, uh, the the stock tanking. But as I say it, you gotta always be careful with that grab. And let's see, things are going a little wild now. Wow, Nippon did definitely pulling a huge advantage. I wonder if they're gonna force Raito and MK Leo to kind of switch characters. Okay. Jazz coming out, they're both kind of going through. Leo gets that kill, and Joker finally drops a stop. But Ness is at a relatively high percent Ooh. and still living, though. Wow. wow, very close. Holy moly! Tries to go for the follow after that grab. Leo tries to connect with Gag, but just barely off time. And Le MK Leo, gosh, his names are confusing me, but MK Leo has been going for some. Laggy options, the up B you've seen earlier and the up smash you have been seeing, but it's always a risk that you can co you can cover a bit more with Link's playstyle in singles, but it's a huge, much huger risk in doubles. Yeah, because Link's Ooh. goal falls down. I said, yo, why are you chasing me, gang? Le Leo just immediately counterattacking against that. And Leo, okay, still 11 though. Okay, nice coverage and wise, right? So not challenging, immediately going to center stage. And yeah. As you have been saying, Raito has been able to soak up a lot of pressure right now. Mm -hmm. Living up to 136% on his second stock. Yeah, okay, Raito's still living. Still living. But both uh, Raito and Akela are a high percent. 
Still going to be 11, though, but it's a, a little bit of a tough situation. I wonder if they're going to start double teaming against Joker. And even with being in the higher percentage, it's Raito who wants to be in the center stage, kind of tanking and soaking up. Just because he has that extra stock, but he just lost it. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, Raito lost the stock, and that ups and that charge Beyblade. Uh, excuse me, yo yo by Gad kind of stopped it with the yo with the yoink. And now we're going to see Gak with the going with those safe up Bs. Mm -hmm. Raito is oh, going to be doing his best to bring back this 2v1. Yeah. But it is going to be three stops that he needs to go through. Definitely not impossible though. Mm -hmm. Both Leia and Gak are in relatively high percentages. Yep. And all Raito needs is a good kill against Leia and see if he can try to take down Gak. Okay. Oh, but this upbeat pressure is. And uh, there goes Leia. Oh man, good snipe by Leia. Losers. Oh, that has to hurt. <laughs> they were just called losers. <laughs> oh my god. A little bit of a taunt there right now. Nippon Jin definitely proving himself to be pretty strong with that game one advantage. And now we're gonna be uh, expecting to see if Leo's gonna switch characters. Yeah. Because this is a this is a, this might be a little part of a tough winners finals perhaps. Like, it has been a while since their last set, but Nipunjin are strong, coming off of strong momentum with the 3 0 in loser semi, so they have that going for them for sure. Yep. Gak has a pretty cool looking belt on. Yeah, me and <laughs> DZ and I we were talking about <laughs> the Final <laughs> Fantasy belt, man. The uh, inventories. Wow. <laughs> Gak definitely got that inventory boost in the Phoenix the Downs, belt. the high potions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I haven't played too much Final Fantasy, but are there any buffing items? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of buffing items, man. More specifically, there are buffing uh, magic skills, too. Right. I know a lot about the magics, but I wasn't sure about the items. But Gak definitely pulling out quite a few from his bag over there because he's looking strong. And now we're going to FD. Really good stage for the Swordsman because they can definitely uh, iron out the neutral. MKLeo is sticking with the link. Like he is going for a bit of that Iron Man you've been talking about. Not wanting to switch without a win. Same yes. thing he did with Roy. Mm -hmm. But right now, Gak and Leia doing a really good job just uh, getting hit confirmed against both Raito and Leia, uh, MK Leo. Almost gets the follow up there, but doesn't get it because Raito was on shield stun. Gak gets oh. that edge guard. Good stuff. MK Leo, not quite the best performance we've been seeing out of his link or in general, but the fair does catch out Leia's Joker, but doesn't even get the kill. Mm -hmm. Great DI from Leia coming in. He's going to be losing his Arsene. Yep, but that is where I'm pretty sure Leia is going to take a little bit of a time, but Raito loses the stock. Again, another power advantage for Red Team. Right. Gag right now at a decent percentage, but still not yet enough to be killed, but oh, oh doesn't get that tag right there. Raito immediately going for an up the execution testing him. Definitely, and uh, Gak was trying to get a strong edge guard on his own part, mm -hmm. but Raito able to soak up that pressure once more and completely reverse the situation. Yeah. Okay, right now we are back to even situations. Nikolaio does have a bit of a percentage on his stock. Mm -hmm. and, and oh, we have a shield break. You have to know that you know Lucina has a really strong shield break. I believe he, all you have to do is just. Hit the shield once and then you go for a shield break, and hey, that's it. Pretty much. But Gact has covered that so perfectly because both uh, Raito and Ankeleo go went for a charged up smash mm -hmm. to hit, hit the uh, shield broken Joker, but Gact was right in the way and perfectly covering it. All they could get out of it was an F tilt out of Link. Yeah. And right now, this is definitely wow. a slight advantage. It goes for the counter by Ness. Okay. Ooh, wow, releases it at the perfect time. And once and again, another one. Are we in a yo yo competition? Were we back in 1990s? Showing them that he has more than one yo yo to spare because that was strong control out of the ledge from Gak. Yeah, and right now, opportunity to see if Nipponjin can extend the stock and the, and the match as well. Leia gets the R7, but immediately with a. Slightly unsafe, high, uh, high recovery, and then Leo just sniffs it out. Okay, unfortunate team hit there, but 
Things are looking a little difficult, but of course, Gact is at a high percent, so we definitely have to watch out how they're gonna take over against Gact. Oh, yeah. and right there. He tried to go for the uppy, gets punished by a down air from Leo, but regardless, hmm? Raito loses his last stock and has a 2v1 situation. Yeah, oh, oh, gets a DI'd right there. Barely gets a grab, and yeah, still love him. But this is what we've seen in game one. More upbeat PK Thunder pressures. And another yo-yo to the butt. Yeah. Grabs. Uh, I don't think there is no dead weight in grab an ultimate. So that is a situation where they could definitely take a little bit of advantage, you know? And that is game two going into Nippon Gene. They are definitely showing some dominance in this whole bracket. Have they, have they lost any games on their way here? They did not. They did not. So they are clawing their way to a no game loss win in this yeah. whole bracket, which is amazing. Yeah, to all advantage. I guess MKLeo and Raito, nonetheless. All right, switching, to, uh, switching. Switching over the stages and let's see how things are going to go. The platform definitely will be slightly beneficial for the swordsman. Switching the stages and also the characters, just recognizing that the link was not working out. Mm -hmm. Going for the true secondary of Leo. But, yeah, but this is looking a little tough for Kronk. His recovery is very dangerous. But oh, no, tries to. Doesn't get the ledge there. All right, and now Leo fighting back. I said, if you're not going to take the edge guard seriously, I will fight back. Yeah, uh, similar, not quite on that level, but similar to Dunkut, Link is also a very setup heavy character, and he's generally very slow. Oh, doesn't get the recovery at Leo as Dean there. Yeah. Krom is a lot faster in his movements, mm -hmm. a much more susceptible recovery, but still being able to dash around and put up some strong and fast moves is why he picks up the Krom, but. That SD didn't work out, and Raito also losing his first stock, and it's a very good lead from Nippon Jean. Yes, and right now, Gact is doing a fantastic job using not only a lot of projectiles that he has, the PK Fire and the Upbeat, to kind of just make sure that both Raito and Leo does not approach uh, incessantly, but Joker, Leia just sniffing around, just around him, just around one roll distance and a half, just to see if he can get some uh, combo follow-ups or some good percentages against uh, the blue chain. A nice upbeat reversal coming in from Raito. That could have been a bad edge guard situation. And mm -hmm. and Raito want to get that kill on Joker very quickly. They just got it. Mm -hmm. Because it was a little dangerous because if, if they let Leia just live slightly longer, the Arsene will be coming and then a kill potential because of the percentages that both Raito and MKLeo has. And Leo timing that side beat perfectly just as Leia released his Rebellion's guard, mm -hmm. Rebel's guard, but... But, you know, things are looking a little bit different now. Uh, and Kaleo immediately targeting against Gak, and then realizing that the DI was not the best. Oh, nice spot dodge, and not able to get to the edge guard due to Gak's coverage, but... Yeah, and... Oh. Okay, almost gets the follow Ooh. right there. Leia just barely... Uh, just barely out... Uh, just barely missing. Okay. Alright, so Leia... Leo and Raito are all on very high percentages, and Gact is on middle percentage, but he's on his last stock. Mm -hmm. And wow, just like that, Leah's second stock was deleted. This Krom pick definitely working out a lot better. Yeah, especially with the playstyle, since uh, since Leo did say he's, he was going to play Krom on the previous S tier tournament, but I'm pretty sure he's been working on Krom as much as possible. So this is definitely a pick that is benefiting him a lot because he does have really good neutral and the edge guards that Krom has against both of these characters would definitely be a scary situation. And Raito being once again able to soak up a lot of pressure and percentage with this Lucina finally gets killed at 166%, but... And as Raito comes down with that back air of his own, taking Gak stock. And right now things are looking a little bit difficult for red team. Percentage is really high and pulled all the, the classic. combos. Wow, he only needed one hit and then Raito knew what he had to do, passes it out to Leo, and then Leo just kill confirms off of that one hit on the left side, wow. And Raito just showing, get, showing a lot of value in his gameplay. Like, even as Duck Hunt, he would be like soaking up pressure, mm -hmm. like 
ha holding his own, like just surviving. As we have seen even in his last singles match yesterday against Linzel, that last stock he was holding against Linzel in his game two, where he was one stock down, but still brought it back. Mm -hmm. We are seeing it again here, and that is bringing so much value because they've been able to clean up like two or three stocks out of Gact and Leia, mm -hmm. while Raito was still on his second. Yeah, and you know, MKLeo is not in the, he's very well known throughout the previous tournaments where he's down two games. That is where Leo just game becomes four. a different beast. Game four MKLeo, here game we go. Game four MKLeo, and of course Raito, when he's down on stocks, he also has that similar aura on himself that he's definitely gonna be able to pull something against both uh, Leia and Gat. So See. that was the first game loss from Nippon Jean. Mm -hmm. So, a bit of a comeback coming in. This is going to have to be a reverse sweep coming out for the father and daughter combination. Yes. And right now, getting a low, decent amount of percentage by Team Blue, especially MKLA and Raito. They definitely want to get a really good hit come from and try to see if they can get as much percent, but then immediately after they get some percent, they want to immediately reset neutral so that they can try to take advantage of the neutral against them. Now we have... Ooh. A lot of pressure going on to Gak right now. Mm -hmm. Couldn't quite get the edge guard because of uh, Leia's great coverage with the side B. Yeah. But it is a very even game, I have to say. Okay. Uh, right to a little side dangerous, but. Oh, oh no. There goes the stock. Quite not able to take the up B onto the stage, and Leah, despite Joker's amazing recovery, was sent a bit too low to come back from that. Mm -hmm. And it's looking great for Akele and Ryan to both at 99%. Commentator's curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, man. Oh! <laughs> But oh, that beneficial trade for Gak right there, taking against MKLeo. And, and right there. Nice edge deep. guard. Yeah, he knows that Raito loves going low. And there we have a shield break. And oh. wow, a team kill. Wow, Tried to save him, but killed him instead. But mm -hmm. that was something that he just had to do and hope for the best to happen because Raito was charging up his F smash. He did release a bit early, so I don't think Gak got hit by it. Yeah. But you, you can't tell when it's. That's rushed of a situation. Mm -hmm. And Leo opted for a lot of upbeats out of shield because ooh. ooh tries to go for the baseball bat, but Gag has been doing a little bit of a slight, maybe unsafe aerials, maybe a couple narrow approachings, or even wow, wow that up B. When you go too long with the up B that in the opponents near you, oh you gotta you gotta pray, man. You, gotta you do not have pray. a way to cancel that too, so it's a very unsafe situation. That's why he's been using it right next to the ledge or with great coverage from his teammate, but not that time. Mm -hmm. All right, this is looking very healthy for MKLeo and Raito right now. They're definitely come doing more hit confirms, and of course their team combos are following up through a lot better. Gak and Leia not, not be able to get a lot of good setups in this match. Wow, two, two dash attacks coming in straight from Leia, but none of them getting the kill despite the Arsene being up. And this time, both MKLeo and Raito are able to soak up a lot of percentage and pressure. Mm -hmm. And oh. nice roll, almost got the pop shield that Leia wanted, but Le uh, MKLeo does not give it to him. Leia is at 165% though, and he's played a bit far away from... Wow! Ooh. That was that F smash was not intended for him, but... <laughs> yeah, it was intended for Gag, but <laughs> Joker takes it for him. Oh, oh stocks oh. are evened up though. This is a close game. Yes, and I'm pretty sure uh, MKLeo and Raito might be target switching towards Ness because they definitely do not want to deal with Ness's back though once their percentages yeah, are yeah, high. Yeah. You're seeing that from Raito. He's going for a shield pressure against Gak. The shield was low. Didn't quite get the shield breaker. Mm -hmm. Gak just sent off stage. If Raito can get this edge guard, that'll be huge. Right, the neutral kind of relatively even right now. They're kind of going back and forth, not right. really having a lot of sandwich situation. If there is, whoever is sandwich, they try to play defensively and try to get themselves out of that situation. Oh, does not quite get the two frame that right was looking for, but... Oh, nice air dodge, just barely avoiding nice. it, but that four smash will do it. Arsene is out, so this is an opportunity for Leia to see if he can try to get an edge guard against Krom. Oh, doesn't get it. it. Nice F smash. Yeah, and like I said, no dead weight on the grabs. 
Wow, tries to go for it. That, okay. No follow-up by Raito, actually. Good synergy coming from Raito and Leo, though. If both of them went up, okay, oh. just I to say that. Oh, that is, <laughs> that is an unintentional team kill there. And Arsene is coming up really soon, but... Oh. Just before it comes out, MK Leo able to take the final stock of Game 4. Just as we've been saying, Game 4 MK Leo. <laughs> yeah, Game 4 MK Leo, man. You always gotta, you always gotta be afraid of that. And especially since MK Leo was just barely outspacing that grab from the shield. And we have another Game 5 coming into this stream. Yes, sir. But Game 5, wow. The game winner's final is definitely going down to the wire. And it looks like they're eyeing towards Pokemon Stadium yet again. I wonder if MKLeo is going to switch, but I think he might be sticking sticking with the father and daughter uh, team right now. He should be, I would say, because it was working a lot better than that Link. And it's been going so well, there's no reason really for them to switch to Roy. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is MKLeo's pick. He can do whatever he wants. But, yep. Oh, but we're seeing a switch from... Leia going to his main from singles, actually. Mm -hmm. Leia was going all the way through the bracket with Greninja, and it's going to go with Greninja. We'll have to see how this changes the dynamic because... Mm -hmm. Alright, the game's starting right now. Compared to Joker, um, he doesn't have the Rebel's Guard, obviously, so... There isn't it going to be an easy comeback mechanic coming in for him, but instead... Greninja a lot faster, I would say. Yeah, and he does have a sweet counter of his own. Yeah, and of course he can he can try to circle camp both sorties because of course a lot of their moves, despite coming out really fast, that you cannot follow them up really quickly because they have a slight end lag. Right. And Greninja could definitely take advantage of that. I wonder if he's gonna do any hydro pumps against the upbeat recovery against Krom or Lucina. A very strong tool that he can bring out against both of them with their linear up weight. Uh, recoveries. Mm -hmm. And okay, a little tough situation for Raito right now, but wow. that up smash. And wow. PK Thunder pressure. And, and that should be it. Covering multiple recoveries right now. Meepo Jin doing fantastic this game. Great patience coming in from Gag, waiting for Raito to go for that yeah, early and recovery. Granger can come back with that. Mm -hmm. Building. And still living though. Still Both living. of them are still holding on to their first stocks, which is great. And right now, they're going a little deep on the right side with the edge guard. Without the edge guard attempts from both sides right now. Yeah, and an unfortunate team attack by Leo right now, genetting uh, Leo with a little still bit of a combo of his own. Still living, like you said. Wow. Leia finally loses his first stock, but Gak, despite being a little boy, has been able to soak up so much pressure 150%. And he's still living. Wow. Yes. Yeah, wow. Gactus doing a really good job playing patiently, but a little bit greedy with that chase down from the air, and then, uh, and then there will be the stock gone. But blue team is having a very healthy, healthy lead. Leia tried to go for the hydro pump, but barely, but barely got hit by the LB as well with an interrupt. Nice parry current for NK Leia to send Leia mm -hmm. off stage once more, but. And we have a showback okay. situation. They, they want to take him away, and it. that's it. He oh, gets both. They got both of them. He gets both with the charged S smash. Because I realized that Ness wanted to try to use unfair to see if he could try to stop it. But you got to be careful. Whenever you get hit, there's a delay. And when you get delayed, there's like a slight hitbox extension as you try to move oh, on. But right away, Leia takes out uh, MK Leia with this great S smash and. Yo-Yo Edgeguard coming in against Raito, so stocks are immediately evened up. Yeah, and right now, oh my goodness, this is a tough battle. Game 5 of Winners Finals, a switch from Leia definitely paying off because from the previous two games, they were kind of struggling, but now things are looking very different. Gets a drag down drag with down the... With the smash. Yep. Oh, wow, Leia is in control right now. Mm -hmm. And corner situation right now, both Krom and Lucina on the corner, they definitely might struggle a little bit to get center stage because both of them are zoners. And as well as Greninja has his speed. Wow, and still living though. That's what he's been waiting for though. MK Leo has been waiting on the edge just for uh, Raito to send somebody his way so he can get that S smash to the side. Not quite getting the kill, but. Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay. Oh, wow, wow, that worked out perfectly. Still living though. Good DI with the air dodge coming out. And let's see how it's gonna be right now. Leo trying to push Greninja out and still loving. This is so even. This is anybody's game. Yeah. And okay, nice. gets the back air. Not 
But as we've seen earlier, this is what MKLA and Raito want to do. Both uh, clustering up together, taking center stage while edge guarding oh, on each side. It, but that's it! Okay, oh. all evens it up right now. Last suck situation. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Oh, that dash attack. I like the attempt. He had that read on the air dodge. Almost gets it, but MKLeo dodges it. Barely. Wow. He barely got away from that up B, getting hit by the strong, strong up B from Ness. Oh, oh man. This All is right. quite intense, man. <laughs> this is quite intense.